So the latest strategy document to be released by the state CTC link team is the security strategy document. So the way security is going to be handled is there will be kind of a security super user at the system level uh, that will grant uh, permissions down to the ver to, um, users at the various colleges, so one person per institution, uh, to manage security at the institutional level. And then at the institutional level, that person can either have a centralized security, security environment where they manage all the permissions and roles and things like that for the end users, or they can give permissions to um, like department uh, directors or, or leads at various departments to kind of manage that security in, at the departmental level. Um, and there are really just kind of two key components to security within PeopleSoft. One is the permission list, so it's kind of a list of permissions that you have to key components within the PeopleSoft environment. And then your role, which is a combination of various lists, permission lists, uh, that kind of tell you what you would have access to in the system. So it's a pretty straightforward document, um, and uh, it looks like there's some flexibility as far as whether we want a centralized or decentralized security environment within PeopleSoft. And it can be granular enough so that if you work at, say you work at a, um, you know, uh, say at Pierce College or Spokane College where you have kind of a district environment, a person could uh, have access to security areas within different institutions too. So that gives us some flexibility in the system.